Well, there uh, there's a wonderful uh, minister um, who wrote a, a book, several books, one of which was that wonderful poem about everything I needed to uh, learn, I learned in kindergarten. You remember that wonderful, the guy's name is Fulgham, and he's really a wonderful Robert human Fulgham. being, Robert Fulgham. And uh, he, he's from uh, the Northwest and spent a lot of time in California, the poor man. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, he, uh, he decided that uh, one day he would spread the, uh, the art of hugging. And there was an instant, can you imagine religious people fighting about anything? Anyway, there turned out to be two factions. You had the hug faction, and you had the anti-hug faction. And the anti-hug faction ultimately won out, and they, they, they made t-shirts which read, don't hug on me. <laughs> now, I spent some years in California, therefore you must suffer a little bit. And uh, this song is called The Hug, and it's about a psychologist who went overboard. But in order to make this work, um, you have to hold hands with your neighbor. And um, if you're next to a man, pretend you're an Episcopalian and everything will be okay. <laughs> Now, when you hear the word hug, you got to squeeze your neighbor's hand. We're going to rehearse this. You'll be hearing this word a lot. One, two, three, hug. Dan Morrow is a mighty friendly man. He's big and round like a bear. He hugs his friends and his friends hug him anytime, anywhere. His patients will come for therapy, drive their blues away. And sooner or later they feel a lot better. And this is what he'd say. Here we go. I want a hug. I want a hug. When you say hello, I want a hug. I want a hug. When it's time to go, I want a hug. I want a hug. Because I want you to know I'm awfully fond of you. I want a hug. I want a hug. What a wonderful feeling. I want a hug. I want a hug. Just to feel you squeeze. I want a hug. I want a hug. It certainly feels like the natural thing to do. It's not over yet. But when the head of the hospital heard about it, he got all annoyed. Cause hugging is sexual sublimination, according to Dr. Freud. You can beat them down, you can hide them away, you can keep them quiet with drugs. You can strap them and zap them with electroshock, but you better not give them a hug. Here we go. I want a hug. I want a hug. When you say hello. I want a hug. I want a hug. When it's time to go. I want a hug. I want a hug. I want you to know I'm awfully fond of you. I want a hug. I want a hug. What a wonderful feeling. I want a hug. I want a hug. Just to feel your squeeze. I want a hug. It certainly feels like a natural thing to do. Anybody need any smelling salts? Yeah. So the boss says, Dan, clean out your desk. Your conduct is lax and lewd. Any deviation from standard medical practice can get us sued. Dan don't feel too bad for himself. He's really kind of proud. But he's worried for the people who are locked away. Where hugging ain't allowed. I want a hug when you say hello. I want a hug and it's time to go. I want a hug. I want you to know I'm awfully fond of you. I want a hug. I want a hug. What a wonderful feeling. I want a hug. Just to feel your squeeze. I want a hug. It certainly feels like a natural thing to do. How some folks don't like hugging. They think that they're too tough. I bet they'd be a whole lot friendlier if they were just hugged enough. When you hug the ones who hug you, an amazing thing you learn. When you give a hug, you just can't help but get one in return. I want, I want a hug when we say hello. I want a hug, I want a hug when it's time to go. I want a hug, I want a hug. Cause I, want I want you to know I'm awfully fond of you. I want a hug, I want a hug. What a wonderful feeling. I want a hug, I want a hug. To feel your squeeze. I want a hug, I want a hug. It certainly feels like a natural thing to do.